Freaking dog's always barking. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyways, what's up guys? D&D Stills here. We are today reviewing this magnificent piece of engineering. I, uh... I went to my game store today. Like, it's a little game shop. Comics and collectibles and whatever. And I came across this box. And, uh, at first I thought it was, like, a map. You know, kind of like the, the thing that I'm recording on top. I thought it was just, you know, a, a setup of, like, that. And in the shop, I was com contemplating buying it. It's uh, 25 bucks, $24.99. Uh, that's the price of my the game store that was it, it was on. Um, when I could Google thing, showed me that it's actually like different pieces of map pieces. So you can literally mix and match them. And I couldn't help myself. I bought the wilderness. This is the wilderness one. And I also bought the uh, dungeon version. Um, I got too excited and I opened up the dungeon version. So I'm going to do a review of this one. So you guys can see me opening it, how it comes and everything. And then I'll upload another one for the dungeon one uh, later. This is going to be a bit of a long review. Only because I want to show each piece and there's a lot of them. <laughs> so bear with me. I'll try to, uh, maybe I'll cut some stuff out, but maybe I won't. Because uh, I mean, if anything, you guys could just fast forward, you know, it's not the end of the world. Anyway, let me pop this baby open. I'm excited to see this. I was gonna buy like a 3D terrain piece with tents, but if this comes with like a cool little like camp thing, I'm content with that. Um, the only reason I wanted it is just so I could put it every time my players will have like a shorter long rest. Oh, that is sick! I love that. Uh, every time they have a shorter long rest, I want them. I want to set it up, you know, somewhere. Uh, hopefully, this has it, but. Uh, so far, looking at the box, oh, that is so cool. Looks like you can use the box itself as even like part of the terrain. All right, well, I'm super excited to open this. Um, yeah, so like, you know, it's, it can go right alongside my crappy uh, battle mat right up to here, right up to my cliff stackers. These are XPS foam. And uh, yeah, I mean, most, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty all right on there. Looks pretty good. This is the this is the inside of the box. That's how it gets here. These are all the tiles. Holy man, this might be a long, long video. It's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. And then there's this. I don't know if something's on the bottom. You know. Whack. I guess it's just to uh, keep it from knocking around. Garbage. Well, actually, you know what? I can use this for like terrain crafting. Maybe the cardboard's too too thin though. This is the bottom piece of the box. So you, you can do like this type of setup where you know climbing upwards, getting higher elevations, or this like this type of thing. Oops. You know it could be like a cliff as they're passing by next to it. Just the box alone, I mean that they make the box playable on. That's pretty neat. You mean like, you mean like a lot. The box. So that's just the box. You got the main, you know, the piece de la resistance. Right here. All the tiles. What is that? Is that water? Oh, sick. You got some water ones too. All right, let me quit talking and just, you guys probably just want to see what this looks like, huh? I'm probably gonna have to cut out this part because I need to punch out every single damn one of them. So yeah, I'm gonna punch them out, cut it. I'll punch one out on camera, and then I'll cut cut out the rest of it. So you guys aren't tortured with having to skip ahead too much. This is the first pieces right here. I gotta say, this I, I noticed this on the dungeon pieces too. It has a lot of triangles, which uh, I think it's, it's well, it's supposed to be like uh, how do you say it? Like hard terrain to cross over. So if your if your players are trying to get through here, they have to roll disadvantage or something. I think that's what it's supposed to be, but could have done without it, you know. I mean, whatever. First piece looks like there's the palisade walls, and then some craters. This is like a little ballista. Oh, and a broken ballista. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Some logs. 
And it looks like oh, those dead people. I can see dead people. But yeah, let's check that out. Some dead knights. Poor bastards. They just wanted a, a career. What is that? Enemies? Oh no, test dummies. Cool. This big old crater, which is pretty nice. It's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like an eight by eight, eight inch by eight inch square. And this is the back of it. Also, oh, it hits a hill. I like that. That's pretty cool. So far, I like how this looks. I'm gonna try to keep all this stuff in some little parts, but. You know what? Screw it. This is going to be like an hour long video of me going through every single sheet. So, I'm sorry. Check it out. There's like broken ruins. There's like this stairway going down to death, probably. That's the end of a wall. It's like they were like, it's like they're building it and they haven't finished it up yet. Cool stuff, cool stuff. What is this? Oh, a ram. And what the hell is it? A pond? Pond and ram. That's good that they make a. Because they're all double sided. It's cool that they make, you know, the ram and then something that has nothing to do with it on the back. Because that way you can. You don't have to fight about which side you want to use. Pretty good. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and by the way, this cardboard stuff that they use. It seems pretty sturdy. This piece is kind of wobbly because it's so thin, but I mean, these pieces itself, pretty, pretty bendable. <laughs> I guess be careful with them. It's a good thing the box is pretty sturdy, so you don't have to worry about them getting messed up. Ah, what's in the back of this? Oh, nice. I like these. All right. All right. This is already worth $25 just for this piece. <laughs> Some tents. Just what I wanted. Nice. And then uh, ruins on this side. Pretty cool, pretty cool. More walls. The only thing I'm not liking is that, like, you know, to use this one, you have to use different sized uh, squares, like different sized pieces, so it might end up looking all wonk wonky, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Fits right, like, right up against it, right there. Oh, it's not even lined up. Disgusting. See that slight off piece? Disgusting. What about this side? Oh, that's better. It's supposed to go on this side. Look at that. Now that is beautiful. Lines up beautifully. More craters. I already showed you that, so. All right. Man, this freaking. There's a lot of, a lot of tiles. Broken house. Oh, and a single tent. Oh man, I really like these pieces. The little tents look cool. Nice, perfect, perfect for the bar to charm people in. Oh, this is like a, a ravine. Minecraft has ended many people with these. Pretty cool. Little gash on the on the ground. Oh man, that is sweet. I have some river tiles I made myself, but these look way nicer. Even though it's flat, it still looks 3D enough. I really, I'm really a fan of these big old pieces. Makes for less, uh, less setup, less setting up. This one is just like your standard ground. You see again the triangles; they're all over like rocks, and like abnormalities on the ground. So I'm pretty sure it's like tough terrain. Oh! All right, I love this. This has got to be my favorite piece. Forget the other. Forget those tents. This is literally a camp. It's got the campfire and everything. Sorry, I'm just uh, I'm just admiring this piece. Oh man, that is beautiful. I'll probably set up. I'll, I'll set up a. Uh, I'll set up like a little scene later, <clears throat> at the end of this video. A road. Yeah, man, those those triangles. I hate those triangles. But they're cool. I mean, the, the tiles itself, 25 bucks. I mean, the amount of stuff that you get with it. Let's just, let's test something out. All right, it passes, it passes. Fits pretty well, I guess. Yeah, freaking roads, gashes, and then rivers. 
It's a good thing all the rivers are like on the same side as. I guess that doesn't make sense. It's cool. This set's cool. Definitely comes with a bunch of of these big old pieces. I, I found, I, if I remember correctly, the dungeon one doesn't have this many uh, big pieces like this. I like it. I like that little pawn. I hate those damn triangles, but just the art on this is really nice. I love it. And this is probably where they sacrifice, you know, some people. So that's always cool. Not that I like sacrificing people, but I won't say. More roads. Oh, I love the next piece. Of course, river. Nice. Another big old chunky piece. Chunky boy. I love this wilderness. Oh, wow, this is cool. Is there like a broken ruined tower with the stairway going down? That's perfect because I could go down into the dungeons. I am in love with D&D, especially these D&D tiles. You know, don't get me wrong, 3D terrain, you know this, and instead of that tower, I have, you know, the 3D towers. But it's so annoying setting it up in between each, like, each encounter, you know, you have to run back and forth and put everything up. I feel like this is going to be just so much easier. Because you can already have this on one corner of the table, and like, okay, you guys come up to the tower, you take it off the corner. Bam, there it is. You could already see, can't you see the corner? I mean the tower, the corner. Can't you see the tower? A tower expanding about 300 meters up high. It looks like it could touch the clouds. Purple roof made out of some shiny shingles. Or at least they were shiny, but now they're all ruined and decrepit. Half of the tower is obliterated. You see, you can already see. I mean, you don't even need the 3D thing. You just, you just need the ground for the fights. This is uh, another water piece. It's not a river. It's like another pond. And this is like a little rock cliff thing. Cool. I like it. I love this piece. And this piece freaking sick. Can't go wrong with bridge encounters. Although, I'm pretty sure any anyone could hop over that river. But whatever. Maybe you don't want to get your... You don't want to risk your shoes. Yeah, really cool pieces. Oh, I like this. This is a little corner cliff could be like a dead end for your party they run up against and they're like uh oh spaghettios you see yeah this set definitely has a lot more big chunks which is good it's always good the uh the dungeon one has like a bunch of different weird shapes but anyway this looks like a little fishing hut a little fisher's house just because of the water out here or it could be you know uh Swamp hags area hideout house thing. Whoa. Oh, this is nice, it's pretty. It wasn't for all the damn triangles, but it's D D. You could play D D with just paper and pencil, so I mean can't complain. I like it. Pretty cool. These are all little square pieces. Oh, this is nice. A little canoe. So it could chill right by the house. Oh, that's sick. So it's either by the house on land or it's in the water. I like it. It's really cool. I hope I never lose this piece because damn, it's tiny. You see, piece, small pieces like this, I have an issue with the triangles because they take up so much space, I think. I feel like your eye like, gets attracted to the triangles and don't even know what that I mean. It's obviously it's just a pile of rubble, but... It would look nice, nicer without the triangles. See, like this side. This side looks sick. This side's all broken. And triangles show up. Broken tree, again. Could have done without the triangles, but whatever. Can't be winners in life. All the time. And then we got, like, a little bridge piece. Oh, it's probably a raft. It has to be a raft, because it has water. And then the land side. I don't know how that's gonna float. Nah, it makes sense, yeah. That will float. That would float. I'm stupid. D D smart. This one already comes together like it's like a whole thing. That's cool. But you break it off so then you can have you know diversity. Rivers, man. Can't go wrong with rivers. So far. You can make a really long river with all these. 
Let's see how long it goes. Dun, 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 Yeah, pretty long river. More houses? I don't even know. I mean, this can be anything, really. Fisherman's hut. Or a fisherman's hut. Whatever you want. More bridges? Again. Can't go wrong with bridge encounters. Those are always fun. Really, really good, nice to the eye, too. Because there's no fucking triangles. Oop. I slipped up. I'm trying not to cuss so much because, man, if you knew me in real life, I curse like a damn savior. Because of YouTube being YouTube, I try to cut back because I don't want to get deleted. Anyways. Oh, sick. Another bridge. It's a little longer than this one. Slightly bigger. I need more camera space, man. I need to figure out my setup better. Anyway, if you're managing to watch 16 minutes of this so far, like straight, bravo. You are you are amazing. I appreciate you. Did I show the back? I think I did. It's going to be a long video. We're almost, well, like, maybe, maybe halfway. Let's pick it up a little bit. Uh, Water. Tiny bridge. Where'd he go? You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. All right, anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> More ponds and lakes and stuffs. I like it. Water. It's like a little swampy area. The end of a road looks like. End of the road. And... Oh, no, no, it's down the road. Dark Souls. I forgot that thing's name. It's in Dark Souls 2, I think. <clears throat> if you're watching this whole video through, let me know so I can tell you thank you. Because Jesus, I don't even think I'd watch this whole video. I'm trying to pop them out real fast. Let's show them off faster. I'm definitely going to have to set up a little, a little scene after. So you guys can see these in action. Log in the water, log on land. I like it. Bushes in the water. More water. Nice. More bushes in the water. And rocks in the water. I like it. I really like this wilderness stuff. It's going to be really nice. Because I mean, you know, like I said, three terrain is cool, but these are real nice to look at too. They're going to make a cool little map. call this I guess ruins I don't know what the black is I guess just walls ruined walls I don't know why they would make them black not just a darker gray but hey I didn't make these I just bought it oh I love this road leading into the woods I love this piece man this whole set is just so it makes my eyes erect Stones. What is this? Like a stone path. Statue. Rocks. A well. Yes. I have been needing a well. And then trees. So you can even, you can see how it fits right in. Though you can't even tell it's there. <laughs> yes, this well is really nice. Oh wait, what the heck? Oh well the well was over there. Oh well. Oh well. Ha. <laughs> that wasn't on purpose, I swear. Random rocks. They probably ran out of ideas. Just threw whatever. Looks like we're at the end of the big piece of that way. No, there's one more. But it looks like it switches to sand after this. That's cool. I guess. Again, man. These triangles. Are really. They're ugly. But the tiles are really nice. Makes up for it. Come to think of it. I could have just used a, a printer. I don't have a printer, you know, I just glue them on some, glue them on some, uh, chipboard or even cardboard. But I mean, for the time it's going to take you 25 bucks, I mean, these are, these are nice. You're not going to find these to print out, it's going to have to be something else. 
I hate that. I don't get what that's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be like the wall so you know where the walls are. But it could have they could have made it look like a wall. Whatever. Again, I didn't make them. I just bought them. Fell down tree and Okay, you see this one just really sucks. <laughs> I don't like this piece. But it could be, you know, the edge of the mat. Now this, this is what I'm talking about. Some trees, oh nice, and then some like ruined ground. I like it. I like the trees, I really like the trees. Nice, a bigger piece. Oh yeah, cool, it's about basically the same thing, just bigger. That's what I told my ex, but she still left me. It's the same thing, just smaller. This is a different buyer. Yeah, it's like a sand dune area. Looks like Texas. That's pretty cool. If it wasn't for those triangles, this thing would be, you know, I wouldn't have no complaints, but I hate those triangles. Palm tree. Can't you see this palm tree with the coconuts on top? Yeah. Even if it's flat, you can see it 3D in your head. And a little piece of water or sand water. Oh, that's probably what it could be like the little beach area, I guess, if you don't want. Yeah, because it mixes in the, la the grassland with the sand, so it could be like the beach. It doesn't have to, it's just so so dark and it seems like they want it to be like a desolate desert, but hey, it's up to you at the end of the day what you want to describe it as. These pieces, are, these pieces are kind of boring. It's just sand. But I'll show them anyway. Sand. Oh, nice. River. I love rivers. Look like a little oasis. Oh, nice. That's a big oasis. Yeah. In the middle of the desert. You know, your party is about to, to die and they think they're hallucinating this beautiful pond of water. But they're not when they drink it as salty as hell and they die anyway. You hear that kind of DM? River. I like rivers. Guys, Jesus, if you've watched 22 minutes of this, I love you. Thank you. We've got two left. Thanks for hanging in there. Don't leave now. You made it this far. Man, these things are. They're really easy to pop out. There's no damage to any of the pieces. I'm just rushing through these and shifting them off. But yeah, really cool. I uh, really happy with this set. Uh, I definitely love the little campsite area the most. One thing that I do see a problem with these is if they're next to each other, you know, you're shifting stuff around. They're gonna not get knocked out. So. Uh, maybe put some tape under it or on top like some clear tape and connect them together like that that would have probably help you but I mean if you're just starting D&D &D and you're looking for like the cheapest way to make a cool setup I definitely say go with these tiles they have a city version they have a dungeon version and a wilderness version I would definitely uh Go this route because for 25 bucks you get that all this that you're seeing. You get tents, rivers, you even get little boats, which is, I mean, super good for the money. It's obviously all going to be 2D, so it's not as cool as 3D stuff, but especially if you're starting, I wish I didn't get this grass mat. I wish I definitely bought these because this grass mat was like 22 bucks. Which is what I almost paid the same for this, and I'd much rather use these now than this thing. More versatility. Uh, you can make much more scenarios. But yeah, it's a really cool set. If you really, if you watch this, let me know in the comments. I will literally blow you a digital kiss. Cause damn, it's a long video. I don't even know what what the hell I said. I my memory sucks, but. 
hopefully I entertained you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm saying goodbye right now, but stick uh, stick around after because I'm going to paste another video of a little scenario I'm about to make. Um, yeah, I really love you guys keeping up with my journey. And that was the D&D Tiles Reincarnated Wilderness set. This is all the rivers we got out of it. Could have had more, but that's enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Stick around for the little scene. Love you guys. All right, this is just one. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, this is one scenario. I only use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of this. Obviously, I have a lot way more, but I just don't have too much room right here on my table. But here's one scenario you can do, you know. I mean, they found the path into the woods where they're supposed to head. But before so, you know, they decided to rest. The knight saved the dwarf earlier, so, you know, they're going to head into the tent for some repayment. Mm -mm. All right, let me uh, cut away again, and I'll set up something else. All right. Oh, another scenario here that I used... Five big ones, two long ones, and two square ones. You can see, I mean, they looks a little random because I put it together kind of quick, but they fit pretty nicely. And just this little area, there's a lot to see. You know, bridge, another bridge, house. Again, the knight and the dwarf enjoyed the company so much together, they're going to go check out this house next. Yeah, a lot you can do. Let me do one more. All right, last scenario, wrap this up. Just a little ruined area. You know, it's up on top of a raised hill. Just, you know, broken down little, I don't even know what I want to call that, but it seems to like be, you know, signs of battles, broken down houses. And again, these are all, you know, a bunch of random, oh, I didn't even realize I put this there. Didn't even see it for a sec. But yeah, you can see, I mean, it fits right in even if you don't want to use all these together you could put this right on top of a mat you know by this cliff you could see, you see a stairway leading down towards the mountain so you know i find myself using mostly the big pieces just because it was quicker but little pieces are definitely helpful too really cool little set i really like it uh thank you guys for watching and yeah catch you later